Okay, this is our fourth of our Transformations with Geometric Figures video. Uh, this is a video on rotations. So this is our, our newest rot uh, transformation that we didn't necessarily talk about with functions earlier in the year. So we're going to talk about rotations specifically with geometric figures. I do have some vocabulary prepared for you right here at the top. So make sure you kind of read through that with what a rotation is, that it's a turn um, in a in a circular pattern we go counterclockwise um, pre-image moves through um, kind of the circular pattern and we think about it in terms of quarter turns around the origin making a circle full circle around the origin uh, the center of rotation is just kind of what is that fixed place that everybody's moving around so in this case um, we're going to talk a lot about it moving around the origin the angle of rotation is how much I've rotated around that circle, uh, anywhere from zero to 360 degrees. Uh, zero and 360 essentially end up being in the same place for one full circle. Um, so anything between that is just a smaller amount of that full circle rotation. Uh, we are typically going to focus on those quarter turns, 90, 180, and 270 degree rotations. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about the pattern of that. Uh, a great way to illustrate this is with this example that we've got for you here with this um, flag for um, pre-image A, B, C, D. Okay, so I've zoomed in on the uh, flag figure that we've got you. Again, over here in quadrant one, this is the pre-image A, B, C, D, E. Um, and what we're going to do is just kind of show you what that would look like as it rotates around the origin um, for all 360 degrees of the rotation. If you take a look, again, we go counterclockwise. So counterclockwise would be to the left. So over here, one quarter turn or a 90 degree rotation would map us onto this image here. So after one quarter turn or one 90 degree rotation, I would be on top of this image here um, so if you take a look I listed all of the coordinates for the new a B C and D right here in this column indicating that I've had one quarter turn it was a 90 degree rotation and these are what the new points are I've done the same thing with another quarter turn rotation continue moving to the left and I would be here in quadrant three notice that that is a mirror image if I would have flipped over this diagonal line here, that would be y equals negative x. I would have landed right on top of that image right there. So um, interesting that 180 degree rotation is the same thing as a reflection. But I've listed all of those points right here in green. Notice again that's two quarter turns, 180 degrees. These are what the new coordinates for A, B, C, and D, E, R. And I've done that one more time for 270 degrees. And you can see you just trace this pattern all the way around to where you land back where you belong. An interesting thing that I want you to pick up, though, moving from 0 to 90, 90 to 180, and 180 to 270, there is a pattern that we can follow that is uh, showing us how to adjust our points as we rotate. The neat thing is, is that you're moving on a circle, so you're not moving left only you're not moving right only you're not moving up only you're not moving down only so you're actually affecting your x's and your y values because you're moving in multiple directions at the same time again going in that circular pattern so notice that each of the coordinates are different for all of these because they're both affected by the rotation but there is the same pattern that we can pick up and track and that's going to kind of be the key that unlocks all of these transformations for us when we're thinking in terms of 90, 180, 270 degree rotations. If you take a look from the original B here and then I move after 90 degrees and then I move after 180 and then I move after 270, what I would love for you to notice is the change is subtle but it's this. If I switch them and change the first, so if I switch the X and the Y value and I change whatever's now in the first spot, um, that same thing happens here. If you take a look with D, it's a great example. Notice that I change 
the low. So I switch three and seven, and then I change the sign on this first coordinate. So switch change the first, and every time you rotate ninety degrees, it's going to be switch change the first. Check this out. Five one goes to negative one five. Switch change the first. And if I go another 90 degrees, it's another switch change to first. So if I was at negative 1, 5, switch them. And then notice I change whatever the sign of it was, I do the opposite. So when I switched it, it was, it looked like 5, negative 1. And then I do the opposite of 5, gave me the negative 5. Switch, change the first. And you could track that pattern throughout all of these points. And again, that's the key. Every quarter turn switch change the first every quarter turn switch change the first so Wooly can write this down switch and then change the first coordinate okay that's going to be the key to the all of these transformations all right so let's see if we can do a couple of examples together do an example of each of the three quarter turn rotations so you could just see how it happens. I've already got the pre-image triangle ABC um, graph for you and uh, we're going to just uh, use another color here to make sure that you see what the image should be and what happened to the coordinates after we did a quarter turn. Keep in mind our rule of thumb is switch change the first for every quarter turn. All right, so a 90 degree rotation is a one quarter turn rotation. So that means I'm going to end up switching and changing the first one time. So that means I'm going to end up applying this opposite of Y X idea. Now, some people look at that and it gets kind of confusing. So what we'll do is we'll come up with the coordinates first and then we'll we'll graph what the image should look like. So let me walk you through what opposite of yx, which is the result of one switch change the first looks like. So that means I switch the four and the eight, and then I change the sign on the four. Those are the new coordinates. Let's do it again. I switch the one and the five, and I change the sign on the one. I switch the six and the one, and I change the sign on the six. Those three are my new coordinates after one 90 degree rotation or switch change the first so that looks like this left four up eight that's my new a left one up five that's my new b and left six up one that's my new c you take a look here and you get that triangle rotation and you can see that it has spun one quarter turn away around the origin. And you see that I've moved from quadrant one over the quadrant two. Hopefully you can see what I mean by this switch change the first, where I switch the X and the Y values and I do the opposite of whatever's in that first slot. Okay, now we're ready for that 180 degree rotation. So switch change the first two times because of 180 degrees. So after one time, we've got this opposite of y, x. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna switch change the first to that to get what our rule would be. So switch them makes it x and then opposite of y and then change the first means I'm gonna do the opposite of what our x is. So after an eight, 180 degree rotation, I end up doing the opposite of x and the opposite of y. Well, that should make perfect sense to you when you think about a 180 degree rotation, if you did a 180, you personally, you would be facing the exact opposite direction. So we would do the opposite of both my X and my Y values. So you take a look here. I just do the opposite of each and I'm getting my new coordinates after 180 degree rotation for that image. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue to get me that. So negative eight, negative four that's my new a negative five negative one that's my new b and negative one negative six that's my new c go ahead and connect these vertices here and you could see the mirror image that results as well 
from this 180 degree rotation or two quarter turns around the origin. Okay, here we go, 270 degree rotation. That switch changed the first three times. So switch changed the first, switch changed the first. We're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna take this 180 degree rule and we're gonna switch change the first to find out what the 270 degree rule is. So that's gonna put the negative Y up front of negative X, but then we've got to change the sign so it ends up being just Y in the front. So Y opposite of X becomes our rule. Now again, I'll apply that for you before we graph anything just so you know where all the new coordinates come from. So I'm going to take 8, 4, and that tells me to 4 goes up front and do opposite of 8. Okay, 1 goes up front, do the opposite of 5. 6 goes up front, do the opposite of 1, and there we go. We've got our new coordinates, and I could go ahead and graph what that's going to look like according to my pre-image and image. Our pre-image is in red, and our image is in blue. You can see the 90 degree, um, sorry, 270 degree rotation, which is three-quarter turns to the left, lands us almost all the way around the circle, and you can see that the rule that we came up with 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 um, three switch change the first, and that was Y opposite of X. So I've gone ahead and filled in this chart for you as just kind of a quick reference guide for your rules. And notice that the last two here talk about a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, which is against the normal rotation, how it's equivalent to a 270 degrees counterclockwise. So if I said rotate 90 degrees clockwise, that's the same as 270 degrees counterclockwise, and you would use the same rule. A 270 degrees count, uh, clockwise rotation is the same as a 90 degrees counterclockwise, and you would use that same rule here. Just little things to see if people are paying attention. The standard direction that we go is counterclockwise to the left. So if they don't specify a direction, if they just say 90 degree rotation, then that means counterclockwise. If they want you to rotate clockwise, they have to say clockwise. All right, so you can pause your video and get that chart filled out if you need to. We'll do these last examples together. Let's do two more examples with you. We'll do this 180 degree rotation for number four, and we'll come down to number five and do one of those. So right away, what pops into my head with this 180 degree rotation is switch change the first twice. So if my original points were X, Y, switch change the first would be negative y x and then negative x negative y for the second time a switch change the first. So negative x negative y is going to be how I um, rotate or I remember the rule that I need to adjust each coordinate to. So if my q at the moment is negative 1, sorry, is 0 negative 1, then my new points will be the opposite of each, so zero positive one. So that right there will be my, where my new Q is. All right, let's try it again. J, which is currently at left one, two, three, four, five, so negative five, and down one, two, three, negative three, so negative five, negative three. I'm going to do the opposite of both of those and get five, three for my new J value. So right five, one, two, three, four, five, up three. One, two, three, right here for my new J. And then finally, H is left one, two, three, negative three. And I'm down one, two, three, four, five, negative five. So as I do the opposite of both of those, that's going to be three, five. So right three, one, two, three, up five, one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be my new H value. Connect my triangle and you could see the 180 degree rotation that has taken place okay final example over here on the left on number five really important you got to make sure you check your notation the uh, quadrilateral in black is the pre-image because it doesn't have any of the tally marks apostrophe marks by the coordinates so that means that the blue is the image so that's going to be where i went after i rotated so if I have ended up to the right, that means I have done one, two, three quarters of a turn. So a 270 degree rotation, 
Switch changed the first three times. 